HRV has an individual set of relationships with the elements. So if your day stem, your day master, is this one, then you have what are called sat sands or ten, ten useful gods, they're different terminology. Joey Yap calls them useful gods, and probably some of you are going to see him tomorrow. Um, for this day stem, money is wood and wife is wood. Friends are metal. Output that's broadly work is water. Um, challenge, which is called kun. So, challenge is kun, like that. So, um, challenge, which is kun, is fire. And resources, that is parents, is earth. And what, what you have in a man woman relationship is a kun choi relationship. The, the wife is choi to the man's kun, that is, the wife is treasure to the man's master, to the man's victor. You know, I mean, my wife is here, I, I you know, I, I know these, t these, term, these terms, we have to, have to deal with them um, metaphorically. But that's the way this stuff works. Just as there are traditional meanings in terms of uh, the family for each of these, these positions, as I said, for a man, father, mother, possibly exes, probably siblings. Um, mm. problems, with, problems with siblings in both cases, by the way. This is a lonely child, this one. Um, so, there are times in the life that are related to those positions. This is the first eight years of life. It sort of, sort of makes sense psychologically that the first eight years of life should be about the same gender parent. You know, it's about daddy for a boy and mummy for a, mummy for a, for a girl, maybe. Discuss. Uh, 24, 32, 40, 48. 56, 72. Sometimes I do this as well. This is what's called a life house. This is not orthodox. But if you were born in 1957, how old are you now? This being the graveyard shift, good time to do calculation. <laughs> <laughs> like, like Joey and friends, when in order to look intense, he divides 238 by 17, doesn't he? So what did I say? What do we want to do? So how old is he now? 52. OK. So, can I, does anyone know what these characters are? No, you probably don't. You probably can't bloody see them anyway. That is a metal tiger. Tell me something about the metal tiger. Mm -hmm. It's uh, next year. Absolutely right. Okay. So, just as this here, you might say, tells you the character of the man, and that's really graphic. This may tell you something about his legacy. This may tell you something about what he, what he does between 48 and 72. It's not 72, it's 64, that's 72. There we go. Big button. Metal tiger, the metal tiger. The metal tiger never forgets. The metal tiger never forgets. Tigers never forget. The metal tiger is the most ruthless. The unbalanced metal tiger will spend a lifetime working on a grudge. Um, it's explosive. 2010 is the bottom of the W in the W-shaped recession. 2010 is the year that the banks get their own back, where the banks go quasi-national, where the banks make themselves entirely separate from um, dependency on government. The purpose of this, by the way, the bigger purpose, what I'm more interested in, is using this for prediction of disasters Predictions of wars, predictions of various forms of difficulty. And um, we think we have a book deal for a book about that. Um, at the Turin conference that I spoke at in September 2008, I said that I had noticed that the years of the ox were years of drought, especially in the Horn of Africa. And that's true in 1949, 1961, 1973, and you all remember 1985, the year of Live Aid. Mm -hmm. Not 97, because there was water in the pillars on Dungji, and I won't bore you with that either. 2009, I went to a record of saying it was going to be a year of the worst droughts. I went, I went all pathetic for a moment. Um, the point is to have this stuff heard. 
<laughs> because that's exactly, that is exactly what's happening in the Horn of Africa right now. I'll tell you something else. 1966 was noted before what? Fantastic, yes. England won the World Cup in 1966. People sometimes ask me, when are we next going to win the World Cup? I say 2026, you following? Mm -hmm. Yeah? Yeah. But there, that's because it's a fire horse year. Yep. There are fire horse months as well. Because there are 60 of them that rotate every five years. Okay? When was the last time the World Cup took place in a fire horse month? 2002, which is the last time the England football team had, an, had a, a respect, respectable showing. When's the next time? 2022. But in each case, if it takes place in June, the finals are probably in the second week in July, so we're not going to win. So if you want to go to Ladbrokes with this, <laughs> next year, semis or final, we will not win. <laughs> I think I'm done. Can I ask a question? Yeah. Uh, with the thing for Osama bin Laden, where these things repeat as for, for the time he came in, yep. would that likely be, be the time he leaves the planet, in other words, the time he dies? Could be. Could be. I'd look at it more... Is he still alive? <laughs> I think so. I think so, yes. No, okay. You might be right. With Gary Glitter, that's more clear, actually. The 1944 one. Yeah, yeah you, can see, you can see that probably is the case. Incarceration and some sort of nasty lingering disease, 211, 212, something like that. But I don't know. I don't know, I really don't. Um, weakish, weak but predatory. That's mean. It's not simple as weak, it's mean. It's not supported, but it wins, doesn't it? The metal wins. Um, would you say metal was his supportive element? Yes, you probably would because of the poor timing. Yes, I think I'd go with that. Yeah. Yeah. So. Um, I'm teaching this stuff next year, starting February. Uh, we have an early bird deal <laughs> on that. I forgot to bring me books today, so you can't buy my book. What else, what else am I supposed to say? Thank you. Oh, thank you. Okay. Thank you. Okay. Question. All right, more questions. And, uh, you know what the cycle timing cycle, if you go to that chart, you know, the, one of the first ones around one. Yeah, with the, yeah. Um, I don't know whether you know the, um, I think it's okay. Dr. Pepper. Oh, this one, this one. This one. Uh, the timing. On Dr. Pepper, they used to do these uh, numbers 10, 2, and 4. Yeah. And they did it for a reason to make people to drink at 10 o'clock, at 2 o'clock, and at 4 o'clock. Because they figure out in, uh, I think in, at the beginning of the cen uh, last century, uh, that people's energy drop 10 past uh, 10, sorry, um, uh, quarter past 10, quarter past 2, and quarter past 4. Mm. Interesting. So, would that, so how would that work with this? Would that kind of overlap with the, with the, the energy drop? The earth, the, the branches have punctuation in the earth every third double hour. I would be looking for that sort of correspondence because it ought to be a fall away. So you have, um, you have the ox hour between one and three in the morning, which is the time when the worlds of the flesh and the spirit are closest. You know, when we're, we're, it's the witching hour, when mm. we're sort of, you know, restless in our sleep. Then we, have, then we have wood, then we have a rest time between seven and nine in the dragon. So I'd be looking for between seven and nine. With daylight saving time, that would be between, between eight and ten, by the way. Um, and in the sheep, you have the same thing in the afternoon, between one and three. And then with the dog, you have the same thing in the evening, between seven and nine. Those would be the time, times that I would be expecting that in line, in line with this model. And there are an infinite number of ways of looking at this.